two, three. Should, should we do this in Klingon? Klingon would be good. <laughs> Klingon, that's going to be an outtake. Hey boys and girls, Admiral Duke out here once again for DisFanReview.com talking about the Albuquerque Comic Con. We are out here at Tall Tale Comics. Get ready to talk to Mr. Jim Burleson, the guy who is putting on the whole affair. And we're going to find out some very, very cool things uh, that are coming up. In fact, something that we've been tweeting about all week, a very cool little Avengers thing that's going to be happening at the 2012 Albuquerque Comic Con. And we are back out here at Albuquerque Comic Con with the one and only Jim Burleson, the guy who was putting on Albuquerque Comic Con 2012. And uh, so, you know, we came back out here again to find out what the big news is about Albuquerque Comic Con. Well, you know what? So many awesome things are happening. We got the event schedule posted on the website, so anybody who's interested in doing some gaming can see the schedule of when the games are going to take place. We have the panel discussions all laid out so that you can plan your day. Uh, we're, we will be making it into a PDF so you can check it on your smartphone or bring in your big old iPad if you want to and awesome. it'll be available. You know, some things that we hadn't talked about yet, the Avengers shot here in Albuquerque. Yes, they did, and we um, were covering that. <laughs> but what we're going to do now at, at, at Albuquerque Comic Con is, is we're going to bring in some of the Avengers that came out. Lou Ferrigno, I don't know if many of you know this, though he was a the Hulk in the TV show. That's right. Um, he is the voice of the Incredible Hulk in everything Stanley has done of Incredible Hulk since uh, in the live action stuff. He didn't do any of the animation, but he was the Incredible Hulk in the Eric Bana version, in the uh, in the Ed Norton Ed Norton's newest <laughs> version, and then in the Avengers that just shot here with Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, uh, um, all those cats from uh, Scarlett Johansson. And dude, Lou, Lou Ferrigno, for for those of you who weren't at uh, Comic Con last year, he is just. He has the coolest presence. I mean, it's cool to listen to him talk. He's such a positive guy. I'm excited to see him again. Well, you know what? I mean, he does so much work for um, for the disabled and things like that. I mean, most people don't realize that he's he's been deaf his whole life. That he has a he has a charity that he he basically helps encourage people to overcome their their adversity. And Lou Ferrigno is that big still yeah. to this yes. day. He is that big. He works out every day. Um, and, and he is a monster. He um. is so the man. <laughs> now, I have heard uh, uh, another rumor regarding the Avengers, uh, and I'm very excited about it. Can you tell us more about that? You know what? Why don't you tell us about that? I certainly <laughs> will. Um, a, a guy who I am a huge fan of, uh, the one and only Agent Coulson. He was in Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2. Uh, he was in Thor, Thor. And he will also be in the Avengers, Mr. Clark Gregg. Uh, is, is going to be here. I'm excited. I think yeah. I've met the guy a couple times before. He is a great, great guy. And uh, how is, is he going to be a couple days at Albuquerque Comic Con? Or he, he's actually in the middle of shooting and doing promo for the Avengers, so we're hosed. When I asked if he could come out, he's like, I'd love to come out. I, he actually came out last year. Right. Um, he, he didn't come out as a guest. He came out as a fan because he was shooting the Avengers here. But I, I begged him to come. He said, look, I might be able to break away for a day. I'll fly in and fly out the same day. So look for him on Saturday, January 14th. Very, very cool. You were talking about the card games and everything. What more can you tell us about that? Well, because of the the, the, the tournament scene here in Albuquerque is really phenomenal. Is. We have, uh, um, you know, for the last 15 years or whatever, we've done all the magic tournaments, the, the Pro Tour qualifiers and things like that. Um, last year, unfortunately, the Pro Tour qualifier was the same time as Comic-Con, so we missed out. But this year, what we've done is we, we, we've now structured Comic-Con to really cater to all the gaming groups. That's we've right. got uh, we've got open gaming all day Friday, from tabletop to uh, to card games to hero clicks, everything. We have we have two dedicated rooms for just open gaming all day long. You guys can go into trade and do whatever you want. Um, Saturday, we have a hero clicks tournament. We have a Warhammer 40K tournament. We have a Legend of the Five Rings tournament, and we have a Magic the Gathering tournament. Holy cow! Then Sunday, <laughs> we're going back. We got another Hero Clicks tournament, another Magic tournament, a Warhammer Fantasy tournament, and then Open Gaming. So we're super stoked about about the gaming stuff that we have available. We've got board gaming groups coming out to do some demos. Um, we, hopefully, we're going to have a couple of tournaments lined up as the, as they get there. Right. Feel free to gather up your gaming group and plan something on Friday because those tables are yours. So pretty stoked cool. about it. Two full full rooms for just gaming. So to make sure that we get all the logistics and stuff out of the way, booths, all that, done. Well, you know, we have a couple of Artist Alley booths that we were able to open up. Um, we had one of our celebrity artists. Uh, they're still working in London. Um, uh, Mr. Mafood is going to be canceling on us, so that opened up a booth. Uh, so we've got a couple of Artist Alley booths, but for the most part, 
We're booked. Now we're just uh, we're selling tickets. We're tickets, tickets, tickets. We're you know we've got a couple of spaces left for the lightsaber combat training with oh, cool. uh, Nick Gallard, who was the uh, the lightsaber instructor from episode one, two, and three, the stunt coordinator for Star Wars. Um, we've got uh, uh, you know some tickets still available to watch that. So uh, we're hoping to get everyone out there. Military, police, and firefighters get in for free. Please come out, and uh, it's gonna be a blast. I'm unbelievably excited. Remember, get your tickets now, www.albuquerquecomiccon.com. It is going to be fantastic. That's January 13th, 14th, and 15th. Jim, thank you very much. Thank you. And right now we are out here with uh, Monique Candelaria, who is actually, I don't know, I think you're kind of you're getting to be that <laughs> pseudo-celebrity status here in Albuquerque. A little bit, right? Definitely here in Albuquerque. Yeah. I mean, it's um, a lot of the film stuff that's been coming out, the Comic-Con, um, the Sci-Fi Expo, it's bringing a lot of opportunities for all of us that are involved yeah. in the entertainment industry. Now, now speaking of, um, of Albuquerque Comic Con and the Sci-Fi Expo, you did a lot of the uh, uh, panel... Uh, uh, <laughs> BJing and stuff like that. There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year for the Comic Con, I did a lot of the BJing, which was intense because there was these small rows and people all along the edges. That's right. Vendors, celebrities, I mean, you're walking by and you're literally standing next to one of the people that right. you idolize and you're going to your, dear God, can you just look at me for just one sec? And they do, like, it's nice. You can actually have a conversation with these people and you realize that they're so personable. That's right, and and uh, in fact, uh, for you Diz Fan Review fans, you can check out our videos from Albuquerque <laughs> Sci-Fi Expo and the the beautiful brunette that is sitting next to Ray Park and 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 uh, uh, Daniel Logan. Yes. Uh, that, that was her. And so so tell us uh, how excited you are for Albuquerque Comic Con 2012. <laughs> <laughs> I am unbelievably excited, um, mainly just because as a kid I loved comics in general, and all of my friends primarily, I guess, were males, but we would play and play as these characters and probably beat the hell out of each other, but <laughs> I mean, it was so much fun to be able to be in that imaginary world and be able to take yourself either outside of what you're normally accustomed to being around, or be able to deal with your problems by seeing a lot of the problems discussed in comic books in general. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. that's, I didn't yeah. expect to go all day. Deep, but yeah, you know, you're <laughs> absolutely right. So, um, so uh, folks will definitely be seeing you out at, at, at the Comic Con this year. Yes. Um, and where will they be able to see you? You'll be able to see me plenty of places. Um, one of the days I'm going to be paneling, so once again I'll be interviewing with the stars and also just having some of the audience members be able to, to ask questions to their favorite artists. Very cool. And then um, for another one, actually, I have been brought in to model, and um, there's a comic book artist that is drawing me as a comic character, and I'll be signing some of those drawn photos. Do we know which comic book character? Or? No! He said that whatever I modeled in would be completely different, my hair would probably be different, but hopefully, I guess, my body and faces the same. That is very cool. <laughs> that is very cool. Well, this is the one and only Monique Candelaria, and uh, she will be out there for Comic-Con 2012. Make sure you check it out, and uh, thank you very much. You're very welcome.